They say stories like this only happen in movies. I can't believe this is happening to me, declared Kahui Kwan, with tears in his eyes, upon receiving the award for Best Supporting Actor for the film. Everything Everywhere All at Once, at the 2023 Oscars. The actor's speech was one of the most emotional moments of the event. If you don't know Kahui Kwan yet, get ready to be entertained and surprised by his talent and life story, worthy of a movie. If you're not subscribed to the Infinity Stories channel yet, don't forget to subscribe for incredible stories of famous personalities. Leave your like and come discover the inspiring story of a journey that started on a boat. I spent a year in a refugee camp and somehow ended up here on Hollywood's biggest stage," said Kahui Kwan. Also known as Jonathan Kukwan, he is a Vietnamese-American actor, stuntman, and martial arts master. He is known for his work in films such as The Goonies, 1985, and more recently, All in All Places at Once, 2022, for which he won the 2023 Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Born in Vietnam, the actor was only seven years old when he left the country on a boat in the late 1970s, due to the war that ravaged his country. He lived in a refugee camp with his father and five of his eight siblings until reuniting with his mother and the rest of them the following year. In 1979, the family reunited when they migrated to the United States. We were refugees. Nobody wanted us. They mocked us when we were in school. You can imagine what that does to a child's mental state. Kwan explained in an interview with the British newspaper, The Guardian. At the age of 12, he auditioned for the first film in the Indiana Jones saga and, approved by director Steven Spielberg, made his brilliant film debut. Shortly thereafter, Kwan played Data, the scientist boy in the children's adventure, The Goonies. However, the child actor would abandon his artistic career in the late 1990s for not being able to find work anymore. It's always difficult to transition from a child actor to an adult actor, but when you're Asian, it's a hundred times harder. He told The Telegraph. That's because he only received offers for small and stereotyped roles, always labeling him within caricatured characteristics related to Asians. If you took 100 scripts, there was a high likelihood that none of them would have any significant Asian characters. Most of the time, we were the butt of the joke, he said. In 1998, shortly after giving up acting, he enrolled in the film program at USC University of Southern California. After graduation, Kahui Kwan produced the award-winning short film Voodoo and worked as a stuntman and stunt coordinator. Among the projects, he choreographed action scenes for X-Men, the movie, 2000. His story has never been easy, but as they say, after the storm comes the calm. And, after much struggle, dreams, and perseverance, everything changed. In mid-2019, he was invited to join the cast of Everything Everywhere All at Once. At the time, the actor was about to turn 50 years old. The actor also said in an interview, it took courage to give voice to this dream that I had, a dream that I had to step away from, and I didn't think I would find my way back. In his speech at the Oscars, Kahui Kwan dedicated his award to his mother and also took the opportunity to convey a message of overcoming and hope. My mother is 84 years old and watching at home. Mom, I just won an Oscar. Dreams are something you should believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you, please keep your dreams alive. Kahui Kwan is an example of how passion for art can be a transformative force in someone's life. He demonstrates that when we believe in ourselves and follow our dreams, we can achieve incredible things and positively impact the lives of others. What do you think of Kihu Kwan's story? Let us know in the comments. For more celebrity life stories, subscribe to Infinity Stories. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a single thing.